No. Oh, damn it. Just setting up a stream. Give me two secs, guys. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um. Okay. Okay, I think we're good to go. So. Um, this is the agenda today. Got quite a lot of things I want to get through. Uh, I also finally got the zoom on mouse um, functionality implemented on my OBS due to popular requests. So, you know, now we can do stuff like this. Zoom on my stuff. How cool is that? big zoom so yeah um, these are all the things that I want to get done I probably won't do them all in this stream but we'll go through um, as many as I can the zoom thing is so fun I might be abusing it um, so yeah the first one is this auto agents github uh, repository and they claim to have made um, a framework for automatic agent generation. So this is similar to AutoGen by Microsoft, which I covered a couple times in my previous streams. But the way this is different, I think, is that it actually uses AI to help you create the agents as well. Um, whereas with AutoGen, you kind of had to um, like code everything yourself. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna do one thing here. I've added a green screen behind me and I want to move it a little bit up. So it's um, not completely, how can I do that? Okay, like this, not too far down. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm still experimenting with different ways of streaming and stuff, but I think this is good. Um, yes, yes, yo, Mr. Mental Puppy, top G for streaming, <laughs> top G streaming, is that me or is the, is Tate streaming, top tech G, uh, okay, so yeah, I want to give this a go, let's read through the GitHub, auto agents, is an experimental open source application for I don't know about this mouse follow hey we can turn it off open source application for an automatic agent generation experiment based on LLM this program driven by LLM autonomously generates multi agents to achieve whatever goal you set tech G <laughs> yes sir um, Okay, features planner determines the expert roles to be added. So I'm pretty sure it comes up with the agents themselves itself. So you don't have to like define every agent. Tools, a set of tools that can be used, observers responsible for reflecting oh, reflecting on whether the planner and the results in the execution are reasonable, currently including reflection checks on agents plan and action. Agents, ex expert role agents generated by the planner, including name, expertise, tools used, and LLM enhancement. Well, they have a little demo here. Let's check this out. So, auto agents chat. Okay, so it's a really cool UI, similar to chat GPT. Type your message. A room temperature semiconducting is this a room temperature semiconducting micro, uh, material? To answer this question, well, they went pretty fast. So this is a really cool user interface. They invite different experts to the group, different agents. So they've made a material science expert and a language expert.
plan observer. So they kind of initiate like a group chat of these AI agents and get them to work on a problem you set. It's very cool. Oh, they have an online demo. Excellent. So we don't even need to install anything. Usually these are like, yeah, this kind of installation. Clone, CD, setup, but it seems like they have an online demo hosted on Hugging Face that we can just use. Um, so yeah, let's try that. Um, this is the chat right here, okay. Generate different roles for GPTs to form a collaborative entity for complex tasks. I need a couple API keys, it seems. Do I? Hello, let's do a test. Hello. Okay, no, we do need API keys. So I'm just going to do that real quickly. Create a SERP API and uh, open AI API key, which I already have. Um, yo, Nano AKTX. Good to see you. What's happening? Log in. Subscribe. To verify your email. All right, give me a sec, guys. I need to um, check my email and stuff, and I don't want to dox myself. I always do, so I'm just gonna put it on just camera mode for now while I sort out these API keys. Shouldn't take too long. Um, yeah. Just bear with me for a minute or so. Um, yeah. I need to verify my phone for this SERP API. That's so annoying. Sorry, I'll do it, but still annoying. Hide screen, yep, that's the plan, that's what I'm doing. Oh, did I not hide screen? Wait, what? No. No, I didn't. Wait, what the fuck? On TikTok, I didn't. How does that make sense? That's so weird. Wait, what about on YouTube? Wait, what about on YouTube? Okay, so on YouTube it's hidden my screen, but on TikTok it hasn't. Oh, because oh, TikTok only shows one scene. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's good to know for future reference. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. TikTok doesn't really save it for later um, showing, so not a big deal. Not a big deal. Nine two two five seven seven. Yeah, you. Every other platform is fine. It should just be me in a black screen. But on TikTok, it shows my computer still. But it's not a big deal. Um, it's fine. Nothing too serious was exposed. Okay, let me bring it back. I've added all my um, all my things. And we're here. It shows the keys in plain text, but it doesn't show the whole key, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, um, I like to do, there's something that I want to do. I need to book accommodation for Friday in Sydney. Do you reckon you could do that? I have no idea. Let's see. Find the cheapest accommodation. How do you spell that? Accommodation in Sydney CBD on Friday, what's the date, 20th, 20th of October for one mail. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we've got the question, find the cheapest accommodation in Sydney for the 20th of October for one mail. 
and now it's calling the next agent. Let's see what it calls. It's taken a while. Come on. Oh, I got an error. An error occurred. Please check the logs, okay? Yes, there's some error. Let's check the console logs. Ooh. Fail to fetch challenge JS. Seems like it's a bit broken still. No API key provided. I definitely set my API key here. Um let me copy these. Oh shit, I just posted my API key to everyone in the chat. Go nuts, boys. <laughs> what a rookie mistake. Oh well. There you go. You got I, I won't revoke it for a little while, so you know. See that as my gift to you guys. It's a free open AI API key. Um, okay, I'll just try it again. Let's see if it can actually do something this time. Professional doxer, yes. I am a professional doxer. Okay, we haven't got the API key error th yet this time. Huey Smith says, what do you think of AMD and AI? I have an RX 7900 and considering to sell. Um, yeah, well at the moment, the Nvidia cards I think are just the best. Obviously you'll still be able to do stuff with other cards, but they're probably not gonna be as good as the high end Nvidia cards But these days like I don't know it depends what you're trying to do with them like for me I have a pretty old card myself, so I can't really do too much AI stuff on it um, But I've been running the like GGUF models locally, so they use CPU, but it's still like, you know kind of slow But it's still cool um, okay, that sucks. It didn't do shit. Uh, and I don't know if I want to bother installing it. Instead of that, let's just look at videos, see if anyone else has used um, Auto Agent. I'm going to probably revoke that API key now. <laughs> Sorry, everyone who is trying to use it. Oh, is it oh, Auto Agents? Auto agents. This one. Framework for automatic. This guy's really good. Agent. World of AI. I want to see if he actually. So they actually went ahead and installed it. Should we do that? Let's see what the end result was. Put their API keys in. Mr. Healy says, thanks for your reply, trying to train a model. Okay, so you probably do need a GPU on that. Basically 34,000 chats for a company that wants to automate their chat support. Yeah, fair enough. Um, are there like reasons that they don't want to use like the cloud hosted exact roles. GPUs for training? Because that's also a pretty good option a lot of the time. If it, if you're not going to be using it for a long to be time. added for a specific execution plan. And this is something that we saw there as the tool to VS Code. You're able to utilize uh, different search engines to help find and process generation. You have observers which are responsible for reflecting on whether the whatever they're just the execution plan that for example or other importantly to They don't actually show him using it. But that's basically it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed See, this is my issue with a lot of these um, 
AI YouTubers is they just read the paper and they don't actually test the tools. That's where I'm different. <laughs> so that's why it's also shitty because I also have to spend a lot of time debugging. Yo, Jumbly, what are we doing today? Um, this is my agenda. So first I was looking at this thing called Auto Agents. Um, and it was a framework for automatic AI generation. It seemed really cool. The way it worked was it um, actually like generates these agents itself. Instead of you defining the agents, it creates the agents based on the plan. So it generates a plan and based on the plan, it generates agents to do the plan. Um, but they have a demo on Hugging Face, which is awesome. I'd love it when they have demos on Hugging Face because I don't have to install anything and like running it on Hugging Face is easy. You just go on the website, you run it, and then all of my fans can do it too. It's super easy. The problem was it didn't work. Um, so I guess I'll just I'll just do it, you know, because this is, as I said, M Mr. Mental Puppy agrees with me. I am the tech YouTuber that actually tries these tools and doesn't just read the papers and give you like false promises you know we're gonna see if this actually could work so yeah let's go ahead and try auto agents um, okay we're gonna CD back out here get clone auto agents something happened too many arguments I typed get clone twice, that's fine. Get clone. Oh, this doesn't go as low, as low as I wanted. What? Why doesn't this go low? There we go, no. Oh, is it issue? So I just downloaded this zoom thing, but I'm just seeing some issues with it. It doesn't go all the way down on the screen. Okay, so that, um, yo, Jake, what's up? That cloned, let's, open that folder in VS Code. What was the next part? CD Auto Agents. Python setup py install. Okay. Uh, Python setup py install. It's installing here. Seems like a pretty simple install process. Then we're going to configure our API key and Oh, they don't even need my SERP key. In config slash key dot yaml. Config, config dot yaml. Okay, uh, open API key. Let's, oh, we can use it. Dude, this is cool. So they provide an option to use your own API base URL. So this means we could use the LM Studio hosted local LLMs with this tool, which is which is amazing. Uh, we might they just make it so easy that like every tool should do that. That's so cool. I'm just gonna use um, OpenAI for now because it's a lot smarter than anything I could run locally. I'm gonna do this off screen here. No, why didn't that copy? Try again. There we go. Okay. It always seems simple until the bugs come up, says Mr. Mental Bobby. That's exactly right. Um, okay, that's installing that. Um, let's read what the next steps were. Config, opening a base. Yeah, we don't need that. Usage. Oh, we do need a SERP API key. Was that in the config? Hold up. It's still installing. Dude, this is installing a lot of shit. I'm going to be doing like a purge of my hard drive at some point. Just like remove all this because I've installed so much random shit over the days over my time streaming. Um, SERP API key there. Um, where did I put that SERP API key? 
here. That blocks that as well. Okay. Okay, okay, is it still installing? Yes. Dude, this is the longest install we've ever done. Any other steps I'm missing? Docker. I don't think we need to use Docker. We're just going to use command line mode. Wait. Oh, but with command line mode, we won't get the nice UI. Damn, I don't have Docker. I should definitely get Docker. WebSocket service mode. Oh, damn, it doesn't look like we'll get a UI. We'll just get command line mode, but that's fine. Mental Puppy says, delete your key after because we saw it when you copied. Yeah, I saw that. Probably need a dual monitor setup. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you use Deep Freeze to play with software on reboot at reset state. Oh, that's cool. I've never heard of that. Deep Freeze. Is it this one? I don't know if I can reset this key. Manage API key. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, regenerate. Sweet. I'll remember to do that. Can you stop? Deep Freeze make workstations indestructible 100% recovery upon restart that's really cool thanks for the tip okay I think it finished because my computer stopped making noise um, alright let's try run the command they said python main mode command line dash dash idea Python mode made command line. Wait, let's just clear this. Clear. Then we can make this bigger here. Python mode made command line dash dash idea. Find the cheapest accommodation in Sydney CVD on Friday. Let's see what it can do. Sydney CBD on Friday. Yo, Pacific Dome, what are we building today? I'm testing. Wow, it still wants me to use my paste my API key. That's so annoying. We are um, testing this framework called Auto Agents. Honestly, the more I use it, the more shit I think it's going to be. <laughs> um. Yeah. It really doesn't load the API key. So I put my API key in here, but I guess it doesn't load it. What's this service mode? Let's try this. Okay, you got a web socket at this URL. What happens if I go to oh fuck I stopped it. Is that local host port nine hundred? What happens if I go there? Nine thousand rather, right? Nine thousand, yep. Yeah. Failed to open a web socket connection. Need a web socket client. Um Okay. I think I have Postman that has a WebSocket client. Let's see if I can connect to that. Pacific Dome asks, what does it do? So theoretically, you just give it a prompt and then it creates these agents automatically. So it could create like a research agent or this one I think is given an idea like write a novel about the awakening of artificial intelligence. And then these agents, researcher, story planner, character development, and writer, are all generated with by the planning agent. So with these other frameworks, you had to hard code the agents that you wanted to use. But with this one, it's kind of cool. It's just like all you have to do is write the prompt of what you want to get done, and it creates multiple AI agents to help you get the um, job done. 
and they talk to each other and come up with the end result. Jeff asks, have you tried Autogen? Yes, I did try Autogen in the past few streams. Um, it didn't work perfectly. I had a little bit of issues with it, but you know that's pretty common with all of these tools. I'm having a lot of issues with this tool right now as well, but it's just cool to see different ideas, try different things, and um, eventually once I find a tool I'm really comfortable with, I'll m start building a lot with it. Um, but right now it's still in the research phase for me. Um, let me try sign into Postman here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try connect to a web socket on port 9000. Okay, we're connected. Now there's no real docs on how to talk to the web socket. Not really. What is code base built using meta GPT? That's something we should try again as well. It's been a while since we tried that. How long has it been? Updated three days ago. Very interesting. Uh, let's see if there's anything about web sockets here. Nope. Hello? <laughs> Disconnected straight away. Shikup says, what are you using for auto agents now? Assuming if not autogen. I'm not like you, I, this is the first time I'm trying it, but it's called auto agents by Link AGI. And to be honest, it's not working too well for me. So um, yeah, it's a bit annoying. I'm gonna give it one more try using the CLI mode. I'm just gonna hard code paste my API keys in here. I mean, I've already doxed them a few times, so I might as well. Ducks them again. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I've asked it to find the cheapest accommodation in Sydney CBD for Friday. It asks for my open API key. I post it here and then it asks for my SERP API key. I'll post it there and let's see what it does. Investment $10. What do you mean $10? I guess that's a hard-coded budget. Okay, the task is to find the cheapest... Okay, at least it's working. Cheapest accommodation in Sydney on Friday. Um, selected roles. No existing roles were selected as there were none available. Okay, no existing, but it's creating one. So first it created a search expert, an expert in searching the internet for specific information with a tool search and summarize. Use the search and summarize tool to find information about XYZ. This is their prompt. You're an expert in the internet specific information. And then there's a comparison expert, which can compare different options and identify the best one based on specific criteria. Language expert, expert in summarizing the results of all the steps. That's pretty cool. Jumbly says, have you tried AI for work? No, I haven't tried that. I can add that to the list. Yo, Fisherman Guy Bro, do you have any open source LLMs that you recommend using to host on a remote server that you can easily make API calls to? I was going to try open LLM, but haven't had the chance yet. Uh, I think currently the hypest one is Mistral because it's quite small and pretty good. So maybe try that. Shikup says, what do you think about open AI adding vector database for storing memory? Not called vector database, but essentially what they're doing. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, I don't know. I like in my experience, I haven't really used vector databases too much. And there's two things that I'm like initially. Yeah, vector databases seem great because an issue with LLMs is long term memory. And that's what vector databases try to solve. But recently, tools like Autogen and stuff have stopped using vector databases, seeing they're not good enough. 
So I don't know if that's true or not. Yo, Nick, how you doing? Plus plus for Mistral 7B. Yo, Jeff says, have you tried Olama? No, I haven't tried that one. All right, let's see what happened here. Okay, that was the plan. And first, the task to find the cheapest accommodation for Sydney on Friday. Um, does it say which role is thinking? No. Damn, it's already used 22 cents. This is quite expensive. Search and summarize. Okay, that's the steps. The agents. Okay, first the search and summarize tool. I guess his name's Alex. Um, they found numerous options. Two star hotel for sixty-three dollars. Three star for eighty-three. Above for that. The summarize tool. There are a variety of accommodation options. Two star hotel for sixty-three dollars. Three star hotel for eighty-three. Okay. We use forty cents currently. Damn, this is quite expensive. I find. Yo, Dota Two says Postman not support WebSocket. I think it does now. I think it was just an issue with the tool itself. Um, the previous agents successfully used search and summarize to find the information about accommodation. The information includes a range of prices. Summarize the information and provide a final output. Okay, and then they've summarized it nice with these dot points. Two star hotel for $63, three star hotel for $83, four star and above from 103 Hotel with free breakfast starting from $66. Now, I think that this is just using the initial results from Google and not actually going into the pages itself. And a lot of the times, pages like Kayak and stuff will actually post like pretty much clickbait search results. But then once you actually go into the site, you don't find a, a hotel for $63. You know what I mean? So it's pretty annoying in that aspect. But like the tool seems pretty cool. Um, there's probably other use cases that this would be better at. Something that doesn't require going into individual pages. I don't know if this can actually save files, but we could try um, doing a, a coding task. That would be really cool. Oh, there's a front end page. Yeah, hold on, let me open this. Okay, there's a front end page. Does this is this what was meant to use the um Oh maybe this is what was meant to use the WebSocket. Uh oh Maybe Maybe yo Kez 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 on kick Thank you for being on kick. Uh, what are we doing today? I'm testing this framework for creating AI agents called auto agents. Um, the way it works is you just give a prompt and it itself using a planner will create all of these different agents, not specifically these ones, but the right agents for the right task. So instead of you defining which agents you want to use, it um, creates them. Wait, how are we on 11 cents? We were on more, like 50 cents before. What happened? Yo, Hamza, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate your nice comment. appreciate We're almost at 1,000 subs on YouTube. Please, guys, if you haven't subbed yet to my YouTube, I will thank you for eternity. 941. I need 59 more to reach 1,000. Um, okay, looks like it finished. 
final output. Based on the information gathered, the cheapest accommodation in Sydney is a two-star hotel for $63. Doesn't give me a link or anything either. For more specific details, you need to enter your dates on the website. And it only costs 11 cents. I don't know why before it said like 60 cents. Was I tripping? Four, or maybe I didn't read the point zero. No, it was point zero four cents. Okay. This repo. Oh, they've linked another one. No, that's not it. It's by... Um, it's by Link AGI Auto Agents. The one you linked is by Auto LLM. I'm not sure what this is. From Germany, create complex user goal, generate a plan, use proper tools. No, this is different. When was this? Three weeks ago. I mean, these are both really low stars. The one I'm using is 500 stars. I mean, it's like decent, not amazing. Um, I'm going to give it a task to do some coding. Let's see if it can create a website that says hello world. Like, can it do that? Oh man, if I have to paste my API keys again, I think I do. It's so annoying. Let's see, where will it be in my history? Here, yes. Okay. Uh, you want me to link the repo in the chat? Yeah, I can do that. Should be coming through soon. Kez says, I've been looking into making my own kick chat reader with Python since they won't open their API. Awesome. I'm not sure how Restream is doing it, but we got kick chat on the stream. Uh, okay. Web developer, expert in web developer, tester, language expert. Okay. So maybe it can generate code. I don't know if we can save it, but let's see what happens. No problems, IJK. Yo, Ronald Duck. Ooh, I've got a Minecraft gift. I've never gotten one of those before. Thank you. That looks cool. Thanks for liking the live as well. Whoa, what was that red text? Give feedback. Oh, we have a... Oh, so it actually tried to run the file? Did it create a file? Let's see. Task is to create a website that says hello world. Um, oops. First step to complete is write HTML code for a simple website that says hello world. This is the code it also writ wrote yo the real junction says they ran autogen with mistral that's cool how did it go okay it says the code has been created the next step is to write this code into a file um that creates a website action write file. I wonder where it will store that file. We'll find out. The previous step has created the HTML code. And now the current step is to see if the hello world.html displays hello world. How is it going to do that? Where even is the file? I don't see any new files. I don't know. I think it's hallucinating. 
I don't know if it can write files. We'll see what happens. I'm going to move this restream chat a bit to the left. Seems like it's looping, creating, and checking. Hmm. Ronald Duck asks, how many likes I have? On my screen it says 2,600. I can double check that with TikTok Studio. Yeah, 2,672. I got this notification saying I could do this drops thing, but it doesn't look like I can. I tried to do treasure box before, but it doesn't say I can do that either. It's so annoying. Thanks for all the likes, Ronald. Pacific says, heard you live in Thailand, bro. No, I don't live there, but I do spend some time there. Um, I love Thailand. It's so nice. Your join the Discord link is invalid, says JK. Is that on Twitch? Let me check. Where's join the Discord? Here. Are you sure? I think it works. Can I open it in a uh, incognito tab? Pretty sure that works. I don't know if anyone else can check that for me. I don't know how to check it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It opened up my channel when I did it. But maybe, I don't know, maybe it's something that only works for me. Pacific Dome says, what company do you work for? I don't work for any companies. I kind of just do freelance software development at the moment. Um, yeah, it looks like this thing is just looping over the same thing. So I'm going to quit it here. And that probably concludes my testing of auto agents. I don't think it's good enough for me to recommend yet. I'm just gonna clear these keys and regenerate this key off screen. Okay. Okay, that zoom tool is actually kind of useful. Yo, thanks for the sub, Jeff. Appreciate you and Mike B. Thank you guys. We're getting closer, closer to 1,000. Um, okay, close all these tabs and move on to the next thing. Oh yeah, I just got access to Google's Notebook LM. I'm not sure what I can do with this, but let's test it out. Oh, and then her Jubilee recommended AI for work. I'll put that in the notes. Oh, I need to sneeze again. <laughs> I sneezed before and then someone clipped it and sent it to me. They're like, lol, you sneezed. I'm like, yeah, it's normal. Sneezing is normal. Okay. Welcome to Notebook LM Early Access Program. You can view FAQs, join our community, and submit bugs using the icons in the top right corner. Cool. Pacific Dome says, are you on Fiverr? No, I'm not. I just have um, some clients that I've just found organically. Thank you, Ronald Duck. Kez uh, <laughs> is like, let me clip that. <laughs> clip that shit. Uh, okay, Notebook LM. Upload sources, chat with an assistant, get creative. So you can pick docs from Google Drive and Notebook LM will use those sources to answer your questions. 
You can chat with an assistant that gives you major themes, questions, helps you understand your sources. Get creative. Don't stop there. Notebook LM can explain, organize, remember, or riff whatever Im- information you give it. Um, 50,000 words per source. That's pretty good. Up to 100 projects, each with a max of 10 sources. So, oh, damn it. I forgot what I just did. What the hell? What does happen? Okay, this screen accidentally clicked no thanks. Okay, I just gotta agree to the terms of services. Um, so wait, actually, can I refresh this? Or will it, will it show the pop up again, please? Oh damn, it didn't show the pop up. I think it said, well, there's a whole FAQ, fifty thousand words per document and ten documents. So that's like five hundred thousand words of information you can query, which is pretty cool. Let's create this in Python. I might need it for Google Sheets. Yeah, that's cool. We should do it. Test on Sheets. Um, okay, getting started. What is it? AI-powered notebook that lets you explore ideas and answer questions using the AI language model. How do I use it? Upload up to 10 sources from your drive. Yeah, 10 sources of 50,000 words, crazy. Ask Notebook LM any questions about the information in the sources. Um, it's not just factual queries, you can get creative with it. What's the source? What's a notebook, key passage, source guide, write my own notes. How come I don't always get citations? Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I have any cool things. So you create a notebook. Um, oh, I have this one sheet. USA spending. This is interesting. So I did a trip to America last year. And I have a Google Sheet of all my expenses. And I want to see if I can query that. So I'm going to search for USA spending. Oh, it's only docs. You can't do Google Sheets. Oh, damn. OK, it looks like you can only do docs. I have my resume. Um. Um, I don't really know what I could. Oh, I have rap lyrics. <laughs> Here's an idea. Just put your Discord invite in this chat. Yeah, OK. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Um, um, invite. This is, oh, it could have been. The issue could have been that I invited it to the wrong, oh, it always does jewels and resources. Try this link. Oh yeah, there we go. Nano says, do you need to be on the wait list to get access? Yeah, I think it is on a like closed alpha or beta. Jeff says the Discord link worked for me. Okay, thanks so much, Jeff. You talking about the one in my Twitch channel? Because I think that's what J. Kai was complaining about. But yeah, I just posted it in the chat, so hopefully that helps you, J. Kai. Um, we could just make a fake document. Because I don't really know about a cool use case for this. Um, hmm. Or, okay, I'm going to upload my resume or like a bunch of my resumes. Um, 
have a 3JS resume as well. Let me upload that one. And then I wonder if we can be like, okay, given my resumes, all right, I'll just search resume. Set up to 10 docs. So I'm just gonna put every resume I have. Do why does it? No, actually, maybe that's too much. Oh, let's go back. This resume, insert that, and then I think I can just go new source, drive, and then I'll just do the 3JS resume. Yep, insert that. Okay. And okay, straight away it's given me a summary. I'm a full stack developer with seven years experience. These are my things and some suggested questions. What are the most important technologies that I have experience with? What are some projects I've worked on? What are the skills um, that would make them a good candidate? Pacific Dome says, I thought it would help with statistics and calculations, but does it? This only does text analysis, yeah. Why not create an app that uses ChatGPT to get sheets and provide analysis, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that exists, but yeah, why didn't Google create one, for sure. Um, I want to see if it can, can you find jobs for Arash based on their resume data? Can it scrape the internet and stuff? Or is it just literally analyzing the text uploaded? If it is just analyzing the text, that's a bit annoying. Oh, so it gave me some options here. Full stack developer at Google, senior full stack developer at Amazon. That's pretty cool. Are these live links? Let me click one. Job not found. Yeah, I think it might be old. <laughs> it's giving me some old links. Um, which is a bit annoying. But we can like just query about the the documents, so I guess there's that. JK says your Discord invite link isn't working. Try I tried several ways and I'm in my Discord, so it's active. Um Jeff said it worked for them. I'm not sure what else I could try. Is there another way to send an invite? Like instead of sending an invite, sending like the channel URL or something. Server settings. Nope. I'll try invite you to a specific channel. Let's see. Like I think I can do where did it go? I think I can do like invite from here. Nope. Right here. Yes. Let's try that. Jakai says question why not use applied data analysis for interrogating querying spreadsheets? What's applied data analysis? Is that a technique? I was just trying this tool out. Um, to see what its capabilities were. And it seems like it's just able to query from 10 documents on your Google Drive or documents you upload, so. It's not that exciting, so we might move on. Um, put that in, finished. What's next? Man, I've got a lot of stuff. In world AI, I think this one I might leave for a while. It's like a, what is it? It's a, it's like a 3D A NPC AI tool. Octopus embodied AI. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, GPT four with code interpreter. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we could do that. Okay, you want it? Let's do that. So. Let me see if I can find my USA spending sheet. Uh, we'll just go on sheets. Google USA spending. So what I wanted to do, I actually tried this with Code Interpreter before, but it didn't work out too well. So I have this sheet of um, all these transactions that I did over this period of time, right? 
and I want to like break it down into categories and do some analysis stuff. So we can do that with chat inter GPT interpreter. Let's see what kind of stuff we can get with it. Um, advanced data analysis. We'll upload this file. I just downloaded USA spending transactions. Let's just say give uh, provide a sum of total transactions. Um, value. Oh, advanced data analysis. Yeah, okay, that's what they've called code interpreter, right? Kat says they've joined Discord from Kickfine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> some problem on your end, IJ Kai. To compute the total transactions LU, we can combine this. Please confirm. Confirm. So cool, it does some data cleaning, replacing some cells that don't exist with zero. Sum the credit column, subtract the debit column from the sum column. Total credited amounts 91,000, total debited amounts 114,000, hence the total transaction value um, is, so it's definitely added them. This is incorrect. You need to ensure the debit is deducted from credit. As debit is a negative number, when you subtract it, it becomes positive. It messed up. So it did like 91,000 minus, minus 100,000. So it became 200,000, which I'm pretty sure these are like also wrong. Um, I think this is because it's including a bunch of transfers I did, maybe. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> These numbers feel wrong anyway. Okay, 22,000. That seems more correct. Now, I wanted to see if, can you use AI to categorize each row into a set of 10 options and then count each category amount. Like if it could do that, that would be awesome, right? Yeah, so these categories, groceries, dining out, utilities. I want to know how much I spend for each category, but is it possible for it to analyze each row and be like, okay, this looks like a food purchase. This looks like transport purchase, etc. That would be super cool. Oh, wow, it actually did it. Categorization will be used under description. We use keywords and context for recognition. For instance, mentions of restaurant, cafe, or dinner might fall under dining out, while bus, Uber, and gas will be transport. That's so cool. So it did do it, but I think it had issues with combination. Because if you add all of these up, they're obviously make sure that the debits are added to costs without subtracting with a negative number. That's still pretty cool in theory, this could work, but it seems to have issues with like minusing the debit amount, which is already a negative, so it adds up to it. Hmm. Okay, well, this isn't probably like completely correct, but it seems like 
Most of the money is from shopping and transportation. Dining out's pretty low, groceries were pretty low, health and wellness was pretty low. That's pretty cool. Shouts out to advanced data analysis. It's pretty cool. I also have, okay, let's try out Dolly 3. I haven't tried out Dolly 3. I recently got it on this. Uh, a Persian tech live streamer named, wait, streaming AI tech content online with the text at tech friend. Let's see what kind of stuff it comes up with. Um, and then yeah, Octopus Embodied AI. I think this is just a paper, but it's super cool. I'll show you guys this really soon after we, or should we check it out now? Yeah, so, yeah, we'll check it out now. So Octopus is kind of like an agent that uses vision language. So it can look at a scene and given a goal, it can like reason with the scene and provide actions. Um, and they have this really cool demo here with um, GTA, which we'll look at here. Have check this out. Let me get this screen to work properly. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So boom. Straight away, like, they have a mission driving with pet. And what they observe is this screen. They see a dog captured from the agent's view. And so then they use Octopus to process a plan using the vision and the goal. They come up with a plan and some code to execute the plan. And it says, according to Octopus, I plan to approach the dog and bring the dog to the car after or later. So what I should do now, and then this is the code that I guess there's some kind of API for this agent to interact with GTA. Mission follow dog. And it's, so first it's walking to the dog, sorry. Walk to dog. It's walk to the dog. And now it's analyzing again with Octopus given the new vision. And um, yeah, the planning. And number two is bring the dog to the car. So it's going to do let follow the dog and then walk to car. So it's pretty cool with these kind of tools getting um, like real AIs in like game worlds. How cool would that be? And I guess there's a let get on dog. <laughs> that looks so, so funny. Mission passed. Um, they do have code. I don't know how, if we can do this. Now we wait. Yes. Taylor, thanks for the comment. Jake says, I liked your auto GPT session just prior to the Lab Lab hackathon. This Friday is their Mistral B hackathon. How about a similar session on Mistral 7B? Also, have you considered holding sessions using Replit rather than VS Code? Oh, that's a good idea. You might get a new sponsor in Replit. That's actually a great idea. I'll definitely reach out to them. Thanks so much um, for that idea, JK. Oh, here we go, Dolly3. Tech friend. That kind of looks similar to me, right? Dude, it's actually so good with the um, with the text, right? Damn. I apologize with the inconvenience, but I think it's meant to create four, but it just created three. That's super cool. This one, it's like a Persian female. I don't think I said Persian man. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to save this. Um, and then I'll regenerate it with some other command, with some other more digital rain, green, matrix, future, cyber, AI. Persian man. Okay. Um, this is pretty cool too. Okay, let's see if we can. Can we use this? How would it work? 
The repository provides training data, evaluation, training pipeline. Okay, so I don't think they provide the model. Um, but it's still pretty cool. Like, you can just see the future of AIs in games. Because at the moment, most AI in video games is just hard-coded, like, loops and stuff. But having, like, just goal-driven actual AIs in games powered by LLMs would be so cool. Taylor says, use the image as input to get a description. Yeah, that is also something you could do. Whoa, look at these. <laughs> this is so cool. God damn. Oh, is a download button? I didn't even realize. Download. Allow. Download. 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 Um, okay, so Taylor suggested using the image as a prompt. So I don't, I don't think we can do it in Dolly 3, but if we open up a new chat GPT interface we can use just default chat GPT and then you can upload images and let's say we upload this one and we can be like give a uh, given this image provide a prompt oh shit I didn't realize I'm still zoomed in guys my bad given this image provide a prompt to be used in Dolly 3 to generate similar images. So if you find an image you like on the internet and you want to create similar ones, you can do this in ChatGPT. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see what prompt that Dali, um, GPT-4 comes up with for me to use in Dolly 3. Neon cyberpunk style illustration of a tech savvy man in the suit wearing futuristic glasses manipulating holographic screens in a digital environment surrounded by glowing green binary code streams that's so cool i like this i'm just gonna change suit because i don't wear a suit into man in a blue hoodie that's my <laughs> that's normally what i wear so let's see um okay see what I have next oh mass apply to jobs with hyper right use final round AI and interviews by AI for the AI step this would be cool um, let me re-enable hyper right so I disabled it earlier okay uh, let's see if this finished. Okay, so given the prompt that ChatGPT gave me, but replacing the blue hoodie thing, this is what we get. Super cool. Damn, I really love these images. All right, let me just um, Persian man in a. A Persian man in a blue hoodie doing a live stream, streaming AI tech content, and take some other neon, neon holographic screens, glowing binary code streams yeah um put that here okay so hyperwrite personal assistant can it read so i want to bulk apply to linkedin jobs Um, I guess it can't up, like, can I upload my resume? Resume to, I have to find my resume. I have like a two page resume that I want to use. 
Where is it? Maybe it's CV two page. Yes, here it is. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think I can upload. Damn, I can't upload files to this. Maybe there's a AI specific for this. Bulk apply jobs with AI. Let's see if anything exists. Bulk apply dot AI. That's so good. Uh, let me quickly check that Dolly. Oh no, did I close it? No. Regenerate. My bad. Automate your job step in three steps. Build, connect, and automate job applications, LinkedIn, and DICE. Start free trial. This is pretty cool. What's the costing like? What's the free trial? Seven days free trial, automatically apply to three job portals, 30 jobs per day. That's pretty good. I wonder if it's gonna ask for my credit card straight up. Potentially. <laughs> Shit, this is so cool. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. I'm loving these images. Um, let's set up your basic profile. Upload your resume. Cool, I just downloaded that here. Upload. Did it not upload? Why did it stop uploading? Is it broken already? Hmm. Access to HTML blocked by course. Okay, no, it worked. Um, I don't have a US thing. Job type, um, contract temporary part-time location remote only yeah stole the extension okay that makes sense because otherwise it'll have to use an api or something connect to Okay, connect to LinkedIn, connected, connect to Indeed. I don't think I have an Indeed account. That's fine, let's just do LinkedIn. Um, adjusted time and day automation for each job portal. So you can get this to automate every day. That's crazy. What if I just wanna run it now? Damn, so this is gonna run every day? Oh, I wanted to see it work now though. Whoa, whoa, look at this dashboard. Okay, good, I'm so glad it didn't ask for my credit details, but apparently it's already found 99 jobs. Delivery driver. These are all US jobs. I think it's very US specific. Um, auto apply jobs, none. Is it gonna apply for jobs? This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Can I delete my account? 
I don't really want it to do this. Okay, delete, delete the profile. Yes. Okay, I've deleted my profile, and now we have an error. Will be a good thing. Okay. Cool. That seems like, you know, it wasn't the most polished product, but like a pretty cool idea for sure. I want to see if there's any other options. Bulk apply jobs with AI. I've downloaded so many of these images. That's crazy. Uh, lazy apply. Automate your job application process. Oh, sweet. Okay, so it uses a Chrome extension, I think, to lazy apply Google. Very cute logo they have, Sleeping Panda. Okay. LinkedIn. Purchase a plan to continue. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Have a free trial. What do you mean? Nah, I'm not paying. What other options were there? Lazy apply, lazy apply, loop CV, automatically applies. Let's see, what's their pricing? Do they have a free tier? Free tier, one job title search per month, 10 applications per month, three job boards. Sounds pretty good. All right, create a new loop. Automate your job search. Job title. Software engineer. Job location. Can we do remote? Search only for remote. Search anywhere in the world. Four plus years experience. Contract. Upload my resume. Okay, that's good. This looks like a good process. Email template name. Select your email template for this loop. Hey, I came across your job regarding job. I'm interested in job. Sure, that's fine. We'll just use that. Save. Send test email? No, that's all right. I trust it. Do you want to exclude some companies? No, select the keywords. Oh, okay. JavaScript. AI. Exclude keywords is fine. Um, middle preference. More settings. Automatically send emails. Oh, we can do it no, so it asks us. That's good. All right. Start the loop. I like this user experience compared to the other ones. Matching in progress. Okay. Okay. I guess while this does that, actually, I don't know, it seems like it's pretty fast. We'll just wait. Why is it? Uh, I feel like my. This thing. Okay. Um, loop results. No data available. Damn it. Why? 
We have found zero jobs. That's a bit annoying. Um, okay, well, I can show you a way that I think would be good to apply to jobs just manually. Go on LinkedIn, and then you just search here, JavaScript. Wait, no, go to jobs, sorry, go to jobs. And you go JavaScript or AI or, you know, TypeScript or serverless. And you can search here. And then it should find out all the jobs that have these keywords. I guess you need um, a, a location, but you can just put remote. And it does, oh, it does do Australia. Remote, remote. Okay, it does do Australia, but I guess you could c go through. Technical co-founder. TypeScript, JavaScript, React, Flutter. Um, and then, yeah, I think that, like a lot of these easy reply ones, apply ones are pretty easy. I mean, bam, that was like two pages. Two, oh, actually, I forgot that my, um, my resume is already uploaded to LinkedIn, so we can use HyperWrite. I'll be like, go through each job posting on this, and if they have easy apply, apply with default settings without following their page. Let's see if it can do that. thinking about it yep looks like it's doing it okay it's going to the site no yep I've already applied to this one Going back to the search page and applying for the next job. No, it's still on the first job. Oh no, it clicked the X on this. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. I clicked one. This is an easy apply though. So I'm trying to click on easy apply, but it doesn't have an easy apply. Go back to the page. Next job. Yeah, sweet. It clicked the next job. Okay, this one does have an easy apply. Is it going to click the easy apply button? It says it is. It says it is right here. Oh, applied. Shit. It did it. Oh no, this is the this isn't the right job. That He says what AI assistant are you using? This is Hyperwrite. The personal assistant by Hyperwrite. H Y P E R W R I T E. Yeah, Jumbly asked the same thing. Hope you got that. I don't think it actually applied to any of them. It is clicking the... No, it's not clicking it correctly. I'm going to quit this and just um, change a couple things with the prompt, I think. 
Uh, I'll c remove this and then I want it to give it something something specific about this button so it knows that this is the button it's meant to press. Like, does this have... Um, can we get inner text? No. Button. Easy apply. Job apply button. How many of these are there? I'm going to give it the selector to make it foolproof. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, there's two of them. One there. Where's this other one? Scroll into view. I don't know where this one is. Can we click on it? For state. Stores, variable, cut, copy. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't matter. Um, okay, let's try it again. I'm going to pose this here. Oh, shit. Um, go on LinkedIn jobs page. Search for jobs in Australia um, and then if they have an easy apply button with class this one click on it and fill the form do not follow their page. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I think it's doing it. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, it's going to LinkedIn. Went to the jobs page, perfect. Um, please search. Yep, search the correct thing. Excellent. Submit it, please. Uh, it didn't submit. No. No. Ah oh, man, I gotta pr say press enter to search or something. Um, go to this, type that in Australia, press enter to search. Yo, Tommy D, what's happening? Okay. Okay, here we go. Submit it. That's issue submitting it. I don't know why. Let's just help it out. Oh, I think it's because of that. Okay. I mean, I did it for it. Sweet, easy apply, it did it. Look at that. Fill the form. It clicked the right button, but it's not filming filling the form. It's typing in my mobile, but it was already in there. Come on. Oh, there we go. Went to the next step. Ooh, this question, have you completed the master's degree? What's it gonna do here? 
Yes, apparently I have. How many years of experience? Let's see what it says. Oh, I don't know. Did it? What happened? Did it quit? Refreshing the current. Oh, what the hell? It says refreshing the current page. You got scared. It didn't want to lie about my fintech experience. Oh no, it's gonna do it again. <laughs> Brandy says testing hyper right. Yeah, I'm seeing if I can mass supply to jobs. It's not working too great, but like it's almost working great. Like it's pretty close. It gets stuck at the how many years of fintech experience I have question. Right here. This is where it got stuck last time. Come on. Just pick a number of years. God, this refreshes, dude. All right, we're going to re <laughs> we're going to redo the prompt with a do not don't ever refresh the page. Jubbly says AI for work. Oh, is this would that do what I want it to do? Oh no, ChatGBT prompts design for work. They do your job smarter. I guess we could test something out. Engineering. Software engineer. Um create a user guide. Do I have to log in? No. We'll try that out later, Jubilee. Um, I just want to mention, do not ever refresh or navigate URLs. Brandon says, I would have never thought of doing this. Yeah, someone on my Discord said it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, yeah, here. Do you know any tricks to automate applying for jobs maybe scrape the web look for specific stuff then apply i've seen lazy apply oh that's one we just tried but it only works with easy apply on linkedin oh i'm trying out easy apply too i guess so they wanted a tool that didn't use easy apply hmm i don't know if that exists um i had to help this guy out before B. Frost says, I'm ghosted. Did I miss a message you sent? B. Frost? You might have been like shadow blocked if your message contained a link. People have complained to me that when they try to send a link on YouTube, their message gets blocked. So maybe that's why. Oh, here we are. This is the step we got stuck on. The fintech. Can it answer the fintech? Could you please provide... Oh, it's asking me. Uh, I'm just going to say one. Yes. Damn. So it did require some manual um, interaction. Oh, I should have provided it here. Oh, cringe. I didn't realize that this box was here. I already navigated it away. Oh, that's cringe. Damn, hopefully you can continue. You'll be frost. I'll check your I'll check my YouTube to see if I missed a comment that you put. Your I'll check my YouTube to see if uh I don't see any thing off before that so i think maybe youtube like blocked your comment or something um could you please clarify if two refers to yes two years of experience i hope it doesn't get stuck in a loop because i closed the thing okay Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have closed that tab. Before I says I can't post my GitHub link for YouTube. 
Just um, post the author slash the repository for us. Don't use like www dot or dot com. And I'll see if I can go to it. Damn, this is stuck in the loop now. Cringe. Okay. It's not very easy to do this. I might give up on this task. But like theoretically, it could. Okay, but Frost has mentioned Blackhead repo system. I think I've heard of Blackhead before. I don't know if that was the right thing that I checked. AI assistant by Blackhead. Oh, yes. Frost, you're the one that emailed me this one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. Um, it seems like it would require a bunch of config for me to actually get it working. But you've got um, speech to text and text to speech for interacting with the computer. Very cool. With the mood system and long term memory. Yeah, this is super cool. I just thought it would be like a bit of a hassle to get running, so I didn't actually try to run it. Super cool idea though. Um, yeah, let me see what I had next in my list. Cognosis. Cognosis. I think I've come across, oops, come across this before. Revolutionizing the AI agent space. Yeah, I think I tried this before, but it wasn't too good, but it could be better now. It's a web-based AI agent designed to revolutionize productivity and simplify complex tasks. Let's give it a go. Name, research, GPT, name, yeah, we'll go a comma, travel agent, GPT, objective, find the cheapest hostel in Sydney CBD for Friday night browsing search booking.com and google accommodation and google hotels I can't remember what that's called I think google hotel oh you can upload files as well so maybe we could do a oh probably not I was going to say maybe we could do a mass applying one with this as well but I guess not. Okay, so we got an objective. Find the cheapest hostel in Sydney for a Friday night. Searchbooking.com and Google Hostels. It's generating tasks. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we've got three tasks. Search for the cheapest hotel on Friday. Um, it's got the same task twice for some reason. And then compare the results and suggest the cheapest option. Yo, Samir. What's up? Okay, according to the cheapest information, Sydney Backpackers, 30 minutes from the airport, Sydney YHA, and they got this from booking.com. I guess it did the same prompt twice, but it got different results. Oh, because this time it's not checking. Oh, this one was booking.com, and this one was Google Hotels, I see. Okay, that's cool. And now it's going to compare and combine them. 
According to the information, the cheapest option is Sydney Backpackers. This is a trendy hostel in the heart of the city with dorms and... Now let me see if that's true. So if I was to search this myself, go on booking.com. I go Sydney CBD on Friday. Check out Monday. One adult. And if I search for price lowest first, will it be Sydney Backpackers? No. Oh, that's a female one, but the Downing Hostel is the cheapest. And Sydney Backpackers is $8 more expensive, so I guess it didn't do a great job. <laughs> um, yeah. The user interface is great, though. Let's try a new task. Maybe... No, it's hard for me to come up with tasks here. Oh, there was one. My very first like time using God mode. I tried to get it to get the um, just scrape, the very basic scrape thing. And that was to find the mobile number listed on apricot.io. And it wasn't able to do it. It wasn't able to search, but um, just like a couple months after that, pretty much every agent was really good at web browsing, so I don't think this one will have a task, I mean, an issue doing this. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, let's see what I had next on this. Builder.io Figma to code. That would be cool, super agent. I think these comments are about mage gpt oh this one was a cool idea so brandon has said you should try to get a verbose product description of any website from gpt 4v and then get the in entire description to meta gpt or i think he meant mage gpt because that's what he commented on um they didn't list the phone number that's weird. So yeah, I want to do this real quickly. Um, I think that'll be fun to do. So let me find a website. What's an interesting website? How about the Wall Street Journal or New York Times? Homepage. This is crazy complex. But so if I just take a screenshot of this page, save it on my downloads, go to chat GPT, upload the screenshot and be like, generate a verbose description of this website that will be given to a software developer to recreate. Let's see what it comes up with. Website is a digital newspaper layout with multiple columns showcasing news headlines. Main color scheme is black, white, and gray. Header, a logo. Okay. I don't know if Mage GPT can handle this, but we'll give it a go. Do, 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 do. Pretty big prompt. It's gonna go through, it's very verbose. Does verbose mean like very detailed? Using or expressed in more words than necessary, yeah. Crazy. We'll see how Mage GPT handles that.
Damn, this is crazy. I feel like this is too big. Um, I don't know if this has a like limit for text, but I'm, I'd be really surprised if it works. New York Times. All right, we'll just um, copy all of this. This is crazy. Um, I did pick a very complicated website, but let's just, I just want to see like how crazy it can get. All right, Mage GBT, show me what you got. It didn't complain about the prompt. went straight to it generating New York Times let me see what I got next here someone said that I should do some Mistral 7b things they liked my auto GPT session I feel like that wasn't a very good stream let me check it out my auto GP whoa what's this when oh, no, I was four days ago my auto GPT where even it was that I feel like it was this. Call of clickbait titles. No, it wasn't. Um. Plugin face, AI tools, Bard, Chrome extension. No, I don't know where it is. Did I delete it? I think I might have deleted it because it was bad. <laughs> Chris says, you know you covered this in a stream ages ago, but any recommendations for a web scraper? Um, Good question. So it depends what sites you want to scrape. If it's a site that doesn't um have a lot of like bot protection mechanisms i think auto interpreter would actually be pretty good so essentially the end product is going to be like a python script that scrapes the site for whatever you want and saves it into a file right and auto interpreter is actually pretty good at making those but if the site has bot prevention mechanisms like auto interpreter and any python generated scripting would actually suffer um so in that case something like hyperwrite i think could be good um because it uses your own chrome browser and makes you seem like a real human but yeah the downside of that is it's gonna be quite slow because it's manually like clicking buttons and stuff Kaz says, I use Selenium to scrape the New Zealand government website for election results. Yeah. Selenium and um, Headless. Yeah, Headless Selenium, Headless Puppeteer. These are libraries that you can use with Python or JavaScript. And Open Interpreter is pretty good at generating these scripts, just given an English prompt. There's other tools like GPT Engineer, Ader, even cursor could probably do that too. Just any coding, um, oops, coding AI, AI chat dev, meta GPT. I think they'd all be pretty decent. All right, 
57,000 tokens to create the New York Times clone. Let's give it a go. Copy the files here. Open up Scamander. Um, open a WSL. You made yours read from CSS, says Kez. Yeah, they normally do use CSS for like finding what buttons to click and stuff. Selectors. Okay. Uh, CD test. New York Times clone and what's the migrate? Wasp DB migrate that sets up the my the database and stuff. And then oops. Never write right wasp start. Once we get there. I'm getting hungry. Okay, finally. Oh, not finally. Now finally. Wasp start. Let's go. New York Times. Oh, there's probably some error. Is there? Yes. Get articles unauthorized. Let's see what the error is here. Username and password auth initialize post. For some reason, the get articles is unauthorized. Do I have to log in? Let's try to log in. Sign up. Sign up. Now, what's the error? No error this time, but nothing loading. Let's have a quick look at the code. Um, SRC client pages home articles. Articles from get articles. I guess there's no articles. We can print articles here. Um, actually, article content. I don't know how to like store stuff in the database. Or how to like view the database. Yeah, I don't think it actually generated any articles. Damn. Damn. Uh, maybe we could do some. Do some fake articles hard coded. <laughs> const articles equals title test article 
ID one summary. This is a test article, something blah blah. It needs an image URL. What else does it need? That's it. Let me find some image. Um, image URL, boom. Oh man, that's big. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Is this a what the hell? No. Why is it so big, these images, bro? Just give me a simple image. Surely this one. this show more okay okay surely oh. <laughs> oh my God. okay okay that's what it looks like I mean it it's something I think these things don't do great with the styling alright compared to the New York Times it's something it's like bare bones but yeah obviously it's not very good at like verbose implementations um but yeah anyway guys i think i'm gonna wrap this stream up here two hour stream is decent for me uh still have a lot of stuff to get through but i will get through all of these on next stream thanks for everyone for joining and commenting i hope to see you guys next time uh, appreciate it have a good day bye